Hey, what's going on guys? Let's try this problem right here. Here this question is asking, consider a stainless steel spoon partially immersed in boiling water at 200 degree Fahrenheit in a kitchen at 75 degree Fahrenheit. The handle of the spoon has the cross section of 0.08 inch times 0.5 inches and extends 7 inch in the air from the free surface of the water. If the heat transfer coefficient at the exposed surface of the spoon handle is 3 British units per hour feet square degree Fahrenheit, determine the temperature difference across the exposed surface of the spoon handle. Now, spoon handle is can be treated as adiabatic thin, right? So that's the main thing we have to realize in this type of type of questions. So we know that for an adiabatic Fin, we can use this equation that is Tx minus T infinity over Tb minus T infinity is equal to cos hyperbolic ML minus X over cos hyperbolic ML, right? So this is going to be the equation for an adiabatic fin. Now, here the question is asking to find the temperature difference. Now to find the temperature difference, we have to calculate, we have, we have to know the base temperature, but that's provided right here. So that is available. And we have to know the tip temperature. That's what we are trying to calculate. Because we are trying to find delta T. Delta T is going to be equivalent to base temperature minus tip temperature, right? Now, to find the tip temperature, we have to use this is going to be this is going to give us tip temperature. This part, right? Now, in order to solve this problem, we have to find this one because all the others are available. T infinity is going to be this surrounding temperature, right? That's going to be seventy-five degree Celsius in this case, actually degree Fahrenheit. And base temperature we have 200 degree Fahrenheit. Here L and X is going to be same. X is equal to L, so this is going to be zero. We have to calculate this M value. That's the only thing we have to do. To find M value, we use this equation. That is M is equal to square root of H P over K A C. H is heat transfer heat transfer coefficient that's provided right here. So this is the one, right? This is heat transfer coefficient and perimeter. Since they have provided the cross section area, we can find the perimeter. Because perimeter is basically two times thickness plus two times width. So we can put two times here. This area is thickness times width. So this is going to be two times 0 0.08 inches. And if you want to convert this one into feet, we have to divide by 12. So let's convert this one. 12 then this is going to become feet, right? Now we have this one in feet. Foot and this is also 0 0.5 divided by 12 foot. Now we have the perimeter in foot. Now if you calculate this one, you should get 0 0.0967. And we also need the cross section area. Now here also the cross section area is also in inches, so we have to convert this one in foot. Again, we have to divide this one by 12, so this is going to be 0 0.5 over 12 foot plus 0 0.08 over 12, right, foot. Now if you calculate, this is multiplication, and if you calculate this one, you should get 0 0.00278 foot square. Now we have these two information available and thermal conductivity is provided. Now we have all everything is available right. So this this is foot. Now let's go ahead and plug this one. So here we are going to have square root of heat transfer coefficient that is 3 British unit per hour feet square. Maybe let's avoid the units as long as we keep the same unit we don't need to worry about unit so here we can just put 3 3 times 0 0.0967 
divided by thermal conductivity that is 8.7 times perimeter I mean a not perimeter cross section area that's we calculated right here that is 0 0.000278 and if you solve this one you should get 10.95 per foot so this can be written as foot minus 1 now we have m value now we have everything available so we can go ahead and plug it in this equation to solve for this one now l is going to be 7 over 12 because they have given this extended to 7 inches so 7 and if you want to convert this one to foot this is going to be 7 over 12 and that's going to give us 0 0.583 foot right so now let's go ahead and find it so if we rearrange this equation we are trying to find tx so x is equal to l right x is equal to l so here we can use tl tl is equivalent to and if I bring this one to the other side this is going to multiply and this one is going to add so t infinity plus this time this so this is going to be tb minus t infinity times cos hyperbolic m l minus l because l is equal l is equal to x is equal to l so we plug l minus l over cos hyperbolic ml now let's go ahead and plug the values t infinity is 75 degree fahrenheit plus tb base temperature that is 200 degree fahrenheit so 200 degree fahrenheit minus 75 and then we have this one 0 cos hyperbolic 0 over cos hyperbolic m value that is this one 10.95 times l that is this one 0 0.583 and if you solve for this one you should get 75.4 degree Fahrenheit now this is t tip right so before we discuss that, that to find delta t temperature difference that's going to be tb minus t tip so here if you plug this one we have to base temperature that's right here so this is going to be 200 degree Fahrenheit minus T tip that's going to be this value 75.4 degree Fahrenheit and if you calculate this one you should get 124.6 degree Fahrenheit and that's going to be the final answer I hope this helps thanks for watching